Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt and today I'll be teaching you how to script Game Pass tools on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game, and as you'll see, if we own a Game Pass, it'll give us a tool. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing we do before we can even get into scripting this, we have to set up our tool. Now in this case, my tool that I want to give to players that own the Game Pass is the Gravity Coil, but yours might be a balloon, yours might be a Segway, whatever type of tool you want to give to that player that owns the Game Pass, you just want to create it. And for right now, we're going to put it under Workspace, we're going to move it a little bit later on, but just create it and give it a good name, uh, and then we can actually get into scripting this. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new script under Service Script Service, um, and I'm just going to name this script Game Pass Tool Script. But you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, and inside of this script, the first line that I want to have is I want to get a reference to our marketplace service. Now, the reason I'm getting a reference to the marketplace service is because any time that we want to deal with game passes or Robux or any kind of financial thing on Roblox, we have to use the marketplace service to do it. So we'll say local marketplace service equals game call and get service marketplace service. After this, what I want to do, I want to set up our Game Pass ID variable. So we want to create a variable for whatever our Game Pass ID is. Um, and the way we're going to do this is say local Game Pass ID. And then we just want to put in our Game Pass ID. So if your Game Pass ID was 1234567, you'd want to put that here. If it was maybe 5525, whatever your Game Pass ID, you just want to put it here so that we can easily reference it later on. After this, what we want to do is we want to grab our tool from Workspace and we want to move it to underneath of the script. Now, the reason I'm doing this, you don't have to, but I think it's a lot easier to store the tool under the script. Um, first of all, because you don't have to worry about exploiters getting it because it's under server script service. Um, and second of all, just because it's really close to our code and it's an easy spot to reference later on. So what we're going to do with that move underneath the script, we're going to create a new variable called tool. And all I want to do is get a reference to that tool. So tool equals script.gravity coil, or if yours was a balloon or a segue, you just say script.whatever your tool name is, um, and that'll give us an easy reference to our tool. After this, what I want to do is I want to get whenever a player joins the game so that we can check to see if they own that game pass. And the way we do this is by hooking into the player added event of game.players. So I'll say game.players that player added and then I'll connect it up to a function um, and inside of this function what I want to do is I want to get the player so whenever a player joins we get that exact player um, and then in here I have one more event that I want to hook into I want to get whenever the player's character is added um, and the reason I want to do this is because okay we could of course we could give them the tool as soon as they join the game but what happens if they reset or if they die if we just give them the tool right here it's not going to actually save it's not going to give them the tool multiple times if they respawn their character um, but what we do is if we hook into the character added event, it'll give them the tool even when they die or reset or their character gets refreshed. Um, so all we're going to do is say player.characterAdded, hook into that event. And we're going to connect this up to a function just like we did before. Um, and once again, I want to get the character. So whenever the character is added, I want to get who that character is. Um, and after this, we only have four more lines to go. All we want to do in here is check to see if the player owns the game pass. And if they do, then we want to give it to them. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to call the marketplace service colon user owns game pass async function. Um, and the way we do this is just saying if marketplace service colon user owns game pass async. So if the player owns a pass, um, and in here this takes two arguments, this method. It takes in the player's user ID, so whatever player we want to check for, their user ID. And it also takes in our game pass ID for every game pass we want to look for. So we'll just pass in our player.user ID as our first parameter. And then the second one, we fortunately we have our game pass ID variable set up, so we can just throw that in there. So if the player owns the pass, then what we want to do is we want to give them the tool. Um, and the way we do this, it's very, very, very simple. All we want to do is duplicate this tool from underneath the script or our tool variable, and then we just want to set the parent to the player's backpack so that they can access it. So all we're going to do is say local tool clone, we'll create a variable for it, equals tool colon clone, call the clone method of tool to duplicate it. Um, and then we're just going to set the parent of this tool clone, tool clone dot parent equals, and then we're just going to say player dot backpack, and it'll give it to the player right in their backpack. Um, that's actually all we have to do for this script. We can go into the game to test it out. And as you'll see, because we own this game pass, because we're owners of this game pass, it'll give us the tool. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the pasteman link with the code and the Roblox model link with all the assets shown in this video in the description. And I'll see you guys later.